yo, 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 what's up, YouTube? This is your boy Jay from Keeping It Real, your arbiter of gaming news and commentary, hitting you off with a studio production video where you know this is your channel, where all gamers' voices are heard. With your boy Jay always dropping the word, keeping them other gaming YouTubers like what you heard, and where you always know we always, always keep it all the way real. So what's up everybody? I just want to thank you all for checking out my studio production video today. And um, yeah, man, I think it's about that time to go ahead and dig into the new Call of Duty. And what I want to do is just do a little uh, preview of what I thought based on the, the gameplay we've seen so far when it comes to the game. I'm sure you guys know, I guess they have this new um, home... Um, uh, area that you could basically be in um, that is kind of like a training ground it's like a camp which looks kind of interesting um, and I just basically want to dig into it man because uh, this is supposed to be you know um, that game that you know Call of Duty we've been waiting for it to come back to you know because since it kind of went off into space and whatnot and um, just want to kind of answer that question at least from my perspective and on my opinion on is this the game that we've been once for all waiting for when it comes to Call of Duty? So, man, um, I'm gonna have some gameplay showing up on it so you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about and kind of maybe see it from my perspective because I know, you know, um, Call of Duty is one of those games that's really polarizing. I mean, you either love it or you used to love it or you just never was about it in the first place. I mean, I think those are pretty much the categories um you know it pretty much you know call of duty falls in for me personally i've been always kind of more i started off with call of duty but once i played battlefield it was kind of over man because for me i just like tacticals i like man just shoot running your ass over with a damn jeep you know while i jump out with a rocket launcher you know um putting a hole in the tank you know i'm that type of dude like you know i like parachuting down on fools you know what i mean sniping them in midair you know um like the stuff you see in battlefield man it's just it's ridiculous man it's a type of chaotic game that just captures fun excitement and it's nothing like it man when you're playing battlefield so for me that's been my thing now you checking out um some gameplay here of um call of duty and for me um i felt like you know, from coming from being a Battlefield guy, and I also play God Call of Duty, but the newest Call of Duties I haven't really been messed with. My son does, but I don't really mess with him anymore. Um, I really, watching a lot of this gameplay, man, one thing that yells out loud to me is the first thing is, man, I mean, are you guys going to ever change your engine? Are we going to still see the same engine over and over again? Like, I don't know about y'all, man. I'm sure maybe a lot of you guys might be Call of Duty dudes, and I ain't trying to, you know, I'm not trying to hate on y'all when it comes to your game. If you're loving this and you cool with it, that's great. But for me personally, man, I'm just, I, I feel like Call of Duty, man, all the money that they be making, they could just do another engine that's just more realistic and just more up to date, man. I just feel like watching this, it's the same um gameplay the same movement the same you know it's just it just looks so dated to me you know like i really honestly if you told me this was you know um you know i would if you if you told me this was um uh um call of duty um infinite warfare or a mode in infinite warfare or a dlc for infinite warfare i wouldn't know the difference honestly i would be like okay and you can't tell me that y'all looking at this you if they told you this was infinite warfare or if it was a dlc for infinite warfare would you be like oh no no this is a completely different game this don't look like you know what i mean like i don't know if y'all could look at it and say that okay but me looking at it i'm like i wouldn't know the difference i'll be like okay i wouldn't think oh no this is the newest call of duty you know it just doesn't scream that out like um and i think that's the first thing that 
bothered me. I like the little new innovative stuff that you see in there where they're building it. It looks like they're trying to throw new fun modes in and that's great and all. Um, of course, I love that they're taking it back to World War II. I mean, this this era right here, I mean, was my favorite. I mean, Saber Pride Brian, that's my stick right there. You know what I mean? That's, that's just straight up what I do. That's like my favorite era. Um, and it, it's nice to see that they're trying to bring that into live, um, to life in, um, Call of Duty. But when it just comes to the engine, I just can't do it anymore. I, I, I get the same type of feeling with Destiny 2. You know what I mean? I just feel like I just, I can't do it anymore. Like a lot of these, um, dudes, it's like, I, I just looking at it the same day. It's I feel like I'm on another level at this point. Like, I just feel like playing the same old stuff or the same old engines where they ain't, they ain't doing nothing year after year they're just keeping it the same and it's the same old engine it's the same old feel you can look at it and i don't feel like it would be enough extinguishing it from the other call of duties other than it's now set back on boots on the ground i just think they just said okay we're gonna take it back boots on the ground and just do what we did before and called it today you know, just like basically Destiny 2. Like, I, it's the same feeling with Destiny 2. That's the reason why I'm so much on games like Anthem. Because I feel like Anthem is going to be a whole nother different flavor or something that's innovative and new. That's the stuff I'm on right now when it comes to shooters. This same old stuff, I just, with people like me, I'm just not feeling it. I'm really not. And me honestly watching this and watching other different gameplay of the other different modes, I just felt like... I'm, I'm just I don't think I'm personally getting it I, I I would rather just play battlefield like I would rather just have vehicles all types of different vehicles tanks and freaking L planes being like you know what I mean like I would rather just have the chaos of a battlefield and actually feel like you're really submerged into a real world uh, I just feel battlefield one does it better they just do all of these things that call of duty is trying to do better Obviously, Call of Duty has some other little different things that makes it uniquely Call of Duty for obvious reasons for those who love that Call of Duty formula. However, people like me, who is like, I'm more of the immersive, real, war, realistic, like you got to do everything in war and it's more it's more tactical and you got more to do than just run around in a box. You know what I mean? Shooting at each other. Like for me, I'm more about like all the other um you know vehicles and and you know um conning their vehicles and you know what i mean like I'm, I'm more into that it looks like they're trying to do more of that in this call of duty you know they're bringing in tanks in a way where they're trying to do more of that type of thing to try to be more like call of duty but in my opinion i just think they're trying to just like what they're doing the boots on the ground they seen what what battlefield did and now they're trying to copy it and do the same thing and i and but just use the 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 call of duty formula now of course i think this is gonna sell well obviously all the people call of duty they're gonna love it but people like me who's looking for something new who wants to see a real actual leap forward in first person shooting and something new in some, a new engine this ain't gonna satisfy people like me you know what i mean like we're gonna be looking for something like anthem or something something that is actually really fresh as opposed to the same stuff over and over again because i just feel like i can just go back and play the other call of duties and it's the same thing like you know what i mean i just don't really see much of it a reason for me to be really picking this game up for me personally um i do like the the zombies mode i think zombies mode in this game is kind of like a game into itself so it definitely probably would be a game that Though I may not pick it up initially when it's in the bargain bin, I'm probably going to go ahead and pick it up. Just for the zombies. I mean, I think the zombies mode is really cool. Um, you know, I, I like the things that they're kind of doing with it. That might be a little inch more interesting. So, yeah, maybe in when it's in the bargain bin, I'll pick it up. But for me, mm -mm. like, I'm, I'm straight on this one, man. <laughs> and I'll move on. So, man, yeah, man, that's pretty much just my preview on that. For me personally, how I, my thoughts on it. I mean, you you guys are checking it out. You know, I would love to see what you guys think. I mean, are you guys, this, this seems like the one y'all been waiting for. Tell me if it is, cool, let me know. Cause you know, um, and if you can point out some things where maybe some things I miss where they're doing something innovative and new, you know, I do see that they're trying to do this camp thing, which is interesting, but you know, they kind of did that in the last game where they had that type of deal. Now they're just making it where it's a camp. So, I mean, 
I don't really in the engine is still the same OBS like I'm not good with it like this type of engine I'm just I'm tired of seeing that you know I don't know I just I'm just I want something new innovative and new a new engine that makes it more realistic and and makes it flow in a way that is more um more um immersive you know i just don't feel we're getting that in what i've seen so far on on the gameplay so yeah man that, that's gonna pretty much be my video for that man um you know i just once again you make sure you know if you dig my video go ahead make sure you like share subscribe if you haven't already a part of the keep it real family all right man until the next time this is jay i'm always keeping it real and i'm gone